Okay, so we'll start. So, hi everyone. So, thank you for joining the session. Uh, today we'll be talking about building your existing Drupal project with Doxel. So, today I, Ridhima Brun, and my colleague Sujit Kumar Verma will be presenting the session. And uh, we both work as Drupal developers at Shrujan Technologies in India. And lately we have been working into a media and bug smash initiative in Drupal contributions. Uh, you guys can reach out to us at our Twitter handles that are given here. So uh, let us see that what all we are going to cover in today's session. So we'll see what actually Doxel is, why uh, we use Doxel, what is the installation process, how to create the environments for Drupal 8 or 9. Uh, we'll see the project directory structure, the stack and the database uh, configurations, and uh, lastly, advantages of using Doxel. So yeah, let's start. So uh, firstly, we need to understand that what actually Doxel is. So Doxel is basically, it's a tool uh, that is uh, that works on Docker and VirtualBox, and it, it creates fully containerized environments. So basically, it, uh, it is used for defining and managing your development environments. Basically, each project that you have on your local, it, it is in the form of containers. So for example, you have two projects, so there will be two separate containers for those two projects. And uh, whenever you need to, uh, whenever you do anything inside a project, you have to do any development, whatever you need to do, first you'll have to enter your containers. So uh, uh, another feature that Doxel gives us is uh, it comes with a uh, default command line tool that is Fin. So it really simplifies all the management of all the components and we'll see how in the latest slides. Uh, next, Doxel comes preloaded with various common tools and services that we uh, commonly use for Drupal development. For example, your Drupal console, your composer, PHP code, uh, Drupal, Drupal, uh, your Drush, Drupal console, and all of these, and services, your Apache, Solar, your Memcache, Selenium, and all of these. So uh, there are various services that, that already come with the Doxel package. But again, if uh, you need any service that is not present in the uh, Doxel package, so uh, you can easily add it because these services are containerized with Docker. So it's, it's really easy to add those additional services that you need for a project. So yeah, that what, uh, so we saw what Doxel is. Uh, next, we looked at why do we need Doxel? So uh, whenever we use some product or some uh, tool, you can say, so there's always some motivation behind it, or there's always some problem that a person may have faced. So same was the case with us. We faced some of the challenges that uh, we faced uh, many challenges prior to using Doxel. So I'll just take you through some of the challenges that we were facing. So as a team, uh, when we work, uh, when we develop so any applications as a team, so there are different peoples that are aligned to that project. So each person has a different machine and each machine can vary. So maybe a person, one person may be using a, a Linux machine and the other may be using a Mac machine. Also, there can be a difference in versions of some softwares or tools that you're using. So all these uh, really create problems later on when you actually merge or when you actually deploy your code. So. Uh, Doxel really solves that because Doxel is containerized. So it makes sure that uh, each person's system is the same. The environment that you are developing is the same. So uh, hence, uh, Doxel is uh, really helpful there. Also, as we saw in the previous slide, it already comes preloaded with uh, various tools and services. So another problem that people uh, generally face, development teams generally face is that when we do a setup, when we do a project setup, so there are, uh, we spend a lot of time just to install various tools, various services. We uh, spend so many hours just in, uh, doing the setup uh, on our local machines. So Doxel really saves that time. That tedious process is really eliminated when you use Doxel. You will see later on that uh, Doxel, uh, with Doxel, you can just set up your project with a few basic commands and very minimal configuration. So we'll see in the latest slides how. Also, uh, when you upgrade, when there is any upgrade to any softwares or tools, again, each person has to do that separately. So <clears throat> with Doxel, 
uh, that does not need to be done. <coughs> Uh, if if your service because the services are containerized with doctors uh, doxel so they are automatically updated when it is updated in the doxel so that's uh, that was the main challenges that uh, we faced prior to using doxel and hence that had encouraged us to use doxel so uh, next we'll see we'll come to that how actually uh, we 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 can do the setup for doxel so uh, the first is the installation process. So by visiting the Doxel's official website, that is doxel.io, you can download your, the Doxel package. So you can download it uh, in your supported version, whichever uh, operating system you are using. And there will be some instructions that you will see on the screen. <clears throat> Sorry. So uh, you'll see that Doxel is installed in just two to three steps. Also, once Doxel is installed on your system, what you have to do, you will have to run a command that is fin vm start. So fin vm start, it basically starts the Doxel application in the background. So uh, it makes sure that it makes sure that your Doxel is running, and once the Doxel is running, you can actually start building your projects, or you can start uh, developing, or your you can start setting up your projects, whatever you need to do. Uh, okay, so another uh, way of installing Doxel is by using this curl command that is uh, here, uh, that is shown here. So you can use this as well. Also, uh, as we saw, there's a fin command line tool. So I already mentioned that whenever you install Doxel, fin automatically gets installed and it really helps us with the development uh, processes when we do in all the configurations and all. So yeah, that all, that automatically comes with the uh, Doxel package. So yeah, now I'll hand over to Sujit for the next part and I'll catch you later. Thank you, Ridma. Hello, everyone. So creating the environment for Drupal 8.9 with Doxel. In this process, the first step is to initialize the dedicated stack for a project. So the in my mind, what is a stack? So Stack are preloaded with uh, some common development tools like Composer, PHP Code Sniper, PHP CLI, etc. For that, uh, uh, we need to uh, run one command, fin in it. Basically, it is for initialize your project. So run the command within your project directory and give the answer of some simple questions in form of yes and no, Y and N. At the end, of, it will generate the project URL. So this is how we can create the environment for Drupal. So in the next slide, process to start a Drupal project. So we have some simple step to start uh, your project, Drupal project. First, create the doc directory. It is a very important directory because all the settings, configurations comes under this directory related to Doxel. And the next is uh, docroot directory. Your uh, Drupal code base come inside that. And uh, after done all the our work, uh, run the command fin project start. Fin project start to basically run your uh, project. So now your project setup done successfully uh we already already generated the project url in the previous slide so open it in your browser and check your setup is running successfully or not and there are simple steps to start your project so this is how we can uh, start our project next slides please project directory structure Project directory structure, basically it is the structure of your directory. As I already attached the screenshot. So in the screenshot, we have uh, uh, your project root and uh, two important directory inside that dot root and dot doc cell. Dot doc root, basically you have to put all your Drupal code base inside that and dot doc, dot doc cell directory, you have to manage your configuration setting within this directory. So this is all about the directory structure. 
previously we have discussed one method and set up drupal project and now this is another another one quick start using a boilerplate so this is a very simple process we need to follow some quick steps and your setup is done run the command fin project create so it is basically for creating a project and give give some inputs uh, like the blue screen uh, like your project name and uh, project uh, uh, type so at the last you got the project url and your setup is done so th these are this is a very simple process to set up a drupal with docsl stack configuration we have some predefined stacks we have separate slide for that we so we will discuss is about later now we discuss about the default stack default stack is preloaded with apache mysql and cli whenever you set up uh, any project in come with it's come with default stack now we discuss how to change one stack to another so we have a file called doxel.env. This is an environmental file. Uh, and the format of this file is in key and value pair. So we need to update the value of doc, doxel underscore stack key with the stack you required. Uh, in my case, I have a default one. So I have a write doxel underscore stack is equal to default. So and run the command fin project reset. So it will reset your configuration. So this is all about the stack configuration. Custom stack. Custom stack means uh, we override uh, your current stack with the help of service you required. It is also play a very important role. Like if you required some new services, in your current stack, then you can declare that services in doxel.yml uh, file like the blue screenshot. For example, in the current stack, we have a MySQL, but our requirement is PostgreSQL. In this case, we need to declare this service to doxel.yml file. Uh, and uh, as I already attached the screenshot, please please have a look. This is how we can create the custom stack. Now move to the next slide, custom configuration. We can add custom and static variable very easily. For that, we need to define uh, it in the uh, .yml file or as well as .env file, basically environment file. So now if you want to verify that that your custom variable are add, added or not, for that we need to run the command fin config. So it will uh, give you the list of all the configuration uh, of your current stack. So this is all about the con custom configuration. And the next one is available stack. Doxel having some predefined stacks like we have already discussed about default it's come with apache mysql and cli and uh, default no db it's come with apache and cli uh, aqua it's come with the apache mysql apache cli one is memcache and solar pantheon also have uh, nginx maria db cli one is radius and solar and last last but not the least node node comes with cli these stacks are very helpful at the time of development and that's it from my side now i hand over to rhythma for explaining the remaining slides thank you thank you sujit so uh, we'll look at the last part which is the database configuration so uh, when we install Doxel, it comes with a default DB uh, whose uh, name is default. So what we will need to do, we have to navigate to our project directory and then we can import the DB by running this command pin DB import and path of your SQL dump file. And you can see that your uh, DB will be imported successfully. 
after you have imported your uh, DB, uh, you have to configure your settings.php file. So what you have to do, you have to uh, include this piece of code in your settings.php file. So it basically contains your DB name, username, password, and uh, you can change these, uh, your credentials or the DB name with the help of fin commands. And uh, after you have saved the settings.php file, you will be able to access your Drupal site. So your Drupal site will be ready for the development. So this was the whole setup that we need to do to set up our projects with Doxel, Drupal projects with Doxel. So uh, now we'll be looking at some of the fin commands. So uh, fin basically uh, provides us with a list of commands. It has various commands. You can see all the list of available commands by uh, running one command that is fin help. So fin help will make you uh, get the list of all the available commands. So for example, uh, there is a fin create command. So it is used to create your projects. Then there is a fin up command. So basically it start your containers. Uh, similarly, there are fin stop, fin restart. It stops your container, it restarts your container. Then we have a fin db import. So what the, this command does, it truncates your database and it imports your SQL file. And, there. and uh, again, we have fin db dump. So what this does, it uh, dumps your database into a SQL file. Similarly, there are various commands and you can check, the, uh, check that with the help of fin help command and, and you can use these commands as per your requirement. So uh, lastly, we have the advantages. So we saw uh, about uh, like how we did the setup. So we saw that there was hardly any configurations like there were, but there were really very little configurations that has to be done. So very minimal configurations. And one main advantage that we see uh, Doxel gives us is that it has fully containerized environments It creates those environments. So uh, again, if you have different projects on your uh, uh, running on your system and each project has a different requirement, has a different version requirement, say. So you need one project need PHP 7.1 and another needs PHP 7.3. So that can easily be accomplished with uh, Doxel. So uh, yeah, again, we saw it works really faster. The process is not at all tedious uh, as it is with the normal setups. Also, uh, we saw that it comes with uh, many common tools and services so um, most of the time you don't have to install any additional services but yeah in case you need that is also very easy also one more thing we saw that we don't have to configure our virtual hosts manually so you saw that uh, it automatically generates your uh, virtual host it automatically configure your virtual host you don't have to do that manually so yeah these were the main advantages and this was all about uh, Doxel, uh, Drupal setup with Doxel. And for more detailed information, you can refer to our blog post. So building your existing Drupal project with Doxel. Do have a look and uh, give your feedback. Yeah, also, and regarding the session, do let us know how the session went. I will share the feedback form in the chat section. Do share your valuable feedback. Thank you. And this is what's coming next. Thank you.